We know uh, one being who will be looking forward to the cooler weather, and this is, well, it's a, he, he or she is a child star growing up just outside of Dunedin. And thanks to this genius web webcam set up by Dot, which we've uh, had a bit of fun with over the last few months, we can all check in live with the Royal Albatross chick. This is, of course, at Tairoa Heads. And as we told you last week, conservation staff are running a competition to name the youngster. Dot's threatened species ambassador, Nicola Toki, joins us now. Nicola, thank you for coming. There he is. He's all good. First thing you wanted to know was, how is he this morning? Yeah. She, he, she, we don't even know. We don't Boy or girl. Not until about eight or ten years old do we know for sure. Oh, uh, I think as the weights improve over time, we'll get more of a sense that the boys will be there. Whether they're getting bigger or not. Yeah. Uh, any entries yet? So many. Really? So many. Within a few days, we had nearly a thousand. So um, I think the, the New Zealand and global public has taken this competition to That's heart. awesome. Yeah. You surprised at the interest show? I'm not surprised given the amount of views that we've had on the webcam. So this is very new to Doc. We're pretty old school, you know. And we, I guess we thought our job is so cool we wanted to share it yeah. with the rest of the world. Oh, I think it's fascinating, particularly <laughs> when the, what I've learned about the bird as a result of the webcam, because then you want to find out more, the fact it needs cool weather, that it's, it pants when it gets too hot like a dog. Yeah. And the fact you've got a couple of sprinklers set up there to keep it cool and all these fascinating facts, mum and dad, you, now, here's a problem I have. You're in the the wrong name, uniform. You the names, in khaki. The, the <laughs> names of mum and dad. You guys, yes. one's called YWK and one's called KGY. They're named after their colours. Yeah, they are. Like green, yellow, black. Yeah, whatever, they are. Or they K, are. K for black. Yeah. So, so, let's have a look at some of the wacky entries you've had so far. Or Bad. maybe some of the potentially winning entries. So, we've had, well, I guess part of the reason I think we've had so much interest is we've had nearly 300,000 views on YouTube alone. So, we've had nine years worth of viewing in four months. Wow. So, people love this thing. Like, it's been playing in banks and councils, lots of schools. Uh, we've had some cool entries. So, uh, lots of Birdie McBird face. Yep. <laughs> I know. <you're, laughs> who'd come up with such a stupid name as that? Or Beaky McBeak face? Yeah, who was that? Yeah, Albie McAlbatross face. But, you know, he, yeah, had, how, many, how, many, how many Albies have you had? Had. We had a few. Yeah, that was we had my, um, my mate Jesse Mulligan suggests Jessica Albatross. I think he's vying for that one. Yeah. Um, uh, we've had some really, really nice, uh, lots of kids' ones are kind of cute. Yeah. Well, uh, ahi Krimi, so the Māori name for ice cream because the kids think he's fluffy <laughs> like an ice cream. Cool. Um, te Arihi o te Rangi, um, which means Lord of the Skies, which I thought was kind of nice. You needn't tell me that. Knew so that. I think um, because the bird's a bit royal and because New Zealanders are a bit more sophisticated, I'm hoping we'll completely avoid Birdie McBird. <sighs> yeah, I'm yeah. sure, because that's a really, really tedious sort of answer to give. Uh, the PM, the PM, we asked him, he, he saw uh, Albie. He went for Albie, which is Nadine's name. Right, um, yeah. I'm going to go Truman. True. I like it. If it's it. a boy, yeah. because of uh, this reality show that this bird, I mean, these are our Kardashians. No, don't go there. I mean, you know, we've watched kind this of bird are, though. From, from birth. The parents, they're off at the moment, and then they come back, and we all get excited. We thought we saw a live bird napping on this, <laughs> but it was one of your uh, was colleagues uh, yeah. weighing it. Or maybe if it's a female, maybe Naz. Because she's our latest reality yes. star. Yes. Yeah. I, I, look, do you know what? I think it, it gives me a little bit of hope. Sometimes it all feels a bit hopeless when we're obsessed with the reality yeah, TV yeah. stuff. But New Zealanders and, and around the world are obsessed with the nature, and I love that. Yeah. Get it, into it. It is brilliant. So let's talk about uh, when you announce it, how you announce it. Uh, the winner. Right, yes, I think I'm supposed to be doing that. That's something I should know. Uh, so on. <laughs> Truman. So <laughs> in July, we'll be uh, announcing the winner, and their prize, thanks to our mates at Air New Zealand, is they're going to come uh, down with me and Lyndon, the ranger, the bird napper, mm. um, and <laughs> get to, sorry, Lyndon, <laughs> and get to um, meet the bird and name the bird, you know, in person and, and kind of wish it well. Um, in Around September, these birds take off for the first time ever, start hovering, and then they take off and then they fly around the ocean for four to seven years, don't touch land again. So it's pretty exciting, <coughs> except the ones that occasionally roll off the cliff when we just scoop them up and pop them back, give them another go. It's incredible. Am I right in thinking <laughs> this is the only mainland breeding spot in the world like this? Yeah, uh, mainland, yeah, mainland colony. And so up, up here arrived uh, on the peninsula in 1937. And because of all the pest control we've done to protect the albatross, we're actually protecting over 10,000 seabirds on that peninsula alone. So they're like the umbrella species, but we're, we're kind of like building up a huge nature population there. It's so fascinating. I, uh, I, good morning. Nice stretch. <laughs> there you go. Ooh. Look at the Ooh. fluff. Amazing. Um, I just urge anyone who hasn't gone to the DOC website next, Google it. 
have a look at this young thing uh, and read about the bird. It is fascinating. Just give us a very quick idea of how big this chick is at this stage. Were it to stand up on the desk? Uh, were it to stand up on the desk? Well, oh, probably bigger. So I think he's around seven so kilos now. And he's, that, that's the baby. Yeah, and he's wearing, he or she, is wearing basically the best down jacket you can get. So yeah. under all that fluff is a very fat chick. And by the time they leave, they're fatter than their parents, which wow. looks ridiculous. Extraordinary. Yeah. Uh, fantastic. <laughs> Nicola, thank you so much for coming in. Nicola Toki, and we will keep you up to date with that competition. July, get your entries in, and then it's the pressure's on you. <laughs> Thank Let's you. get as many entries as possible because it's going to make your life so much harder. <laughs> Truman, I like. Thank but, you. But Nicola did say it's a royal albatross. You cannot okay. suggest Prince Nez. Truman. <laughs> no, I know. A little bit of class, Prince. please. She is a bit of a princess, isn't she? <laughs> um, okay, there you go. Do show, throw your entries in there. All the details, as I say, on the doc website.